Middle of the night, gang. Ah, delicious espresso. Hey, turtle. Hey, alert. What up, gamers? All right, let me uh, make sure I turn my volume up before I forget. There we go. I'm sure I've forgotten something. So, uh, while we're still going to end up exploring for sure, there's like lots of world quests I really want to catch up on. Um, just because I mean, look at them. There's a lot of them. Probably just gonna be a lot of skipping through dialogue and junk like that, but should end up being a pretty good time. Nice void. Also, hey, shout. Oh, interesting. So it something else that I'm noticing too is a lot of these quests. It seems like they finally have given us tracking to world quests. I could be wrong about that, but kind of cool. Oh, great. Yeah, okay. No voiceover dialogue, so it means we're going to be skipping through lots of stuff, but hey. Most of all, I just want those Freema gems. I'm very, very close to pity uh, for Ayato again. But who knows how long that's going to take. <laughs> I've kind of been exploring a little bit in my buddy's worlds, but not really too, too much. Like, I still got a lot to explore myself, that's for darn sure. But the more I check it out, the more I like it. Most of all, the underground. Like, we're probably going to be spending the most of today's stream up on the surface, but hey, whatever. Gotta do it, right? Gotta grind it out. <laughs> Another, test subject. Another test subject. You're already dead. Is Ayato worth getting? I think so. Uh, I really like his playstyle just because of how simple it is. But if you haven't already seen the leaks, you might want to wait for Yulan because she seems cracked. As we all know, power creep is a real thing. But as far as an archer character is concerned, she seems to have really, really smooth animations and everything. Uh, funny enough, I didn't even think... Like... I'm very surprised about Ayato's popularity because uh, I saw on the Reddit somebody summarized, like, just how much this pack is selling. And not to say it's competing with Raiden or anything, but Ayato is just selling way more than I thought he would. I guess because, generally speaking, he's really cool. But personally, I thought that, uh, I think that a little bit of his character design is quite lacking, but anyways... Hey, Draco. I was able to get into Genshin for a minute before it crashed. Ah, yes. My buddy actually had that happen uh, earlier today where he said he got into the game and then he quit. Or, uh, not quit. The game crashed on him. Which is weird because Genshin doesn't usually have that happen. Uh, who's better, Raiden or Ayato? I think Raiden has more... Like, she she's better for a group. Just because of the way that she plays, like in her kit and everything like that. Are you not dead yet? Okay. But Raiden, in order for her to do damage, you have to have uh, constellations on her. Whereas with Ayato, you don't really have to. But I don't know. It's entirely up to you. I, I'd say generally speaking, Raiden... I'm pretty sure as far as sales are concerned, Raiden's like the most popular character. I like Ayato, but frankly speaking, I think he'd be really, really good with higher constellations, but I, I'm not going to spend the money, dude. <laughs> I personally really like him. I feel like I've got, like, my good four team right now. Even though I'm one of every element, which is not very good bonus, but hey, whatever. So I saw this quest in a buddy of mine's world. And that was actually pretty cool because that was the uh, treasure hoarder leader, which we'd seen her a couple times in the past. Oh, hi, Mert. Yeah, Raiden C2. Exactly. 
Because then she does damage through defense, and there's not many characters that do that, but my god. Uh, yeah, Yelan is basically five-star shorts kid. Uh, but also has Oz capabilities, uh, where it's, you know, kind of a cast and forget about it type of thing. But yeah, she looks pretty insane. Okay, so that's underground stuff, I see. Uh, okay. Interesting. Because I don't, I don't remember getting most of these quests. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good summary of Ayato. That's probably why, like, I like him so much, because, yeah, he's kind of like Kazaha play style, where, it, not necessarily in the way that you play him, but I just mean, like, he's a lot of fun, he does big Chonko damage really easily, and handles groups very, very well. What up, man? Wait, what? Oh, God, is the quest being annoying and... Oh... Okay, so it's one of these annoying quests. I'll see you later, buddy. I'll probably do that off camera. That seems like a wild goose chase quest where I have to get the info from him and then I have to go to the specific location, which... No. I don't like doing those kinds of things on stream because then I'll end up spending like 20 minutes searching and then it's like, oh, it was right there the whole time. So we'll save that quest for next time. That is to say, I'll already have it done by the next stream. <laughs> yeah, Chasm's actually uh, pretty high scaled. There's a joke I keep making with my friend about um, in before the next update, you see that they lowered the difficulty of Chasm because when Inazuma first came out, lots of enemies were level like 90 plus as well, at least in world level eight. Uh, and then they ended up nerfing that. And uh, that's kind of what's happening in the Chasm as well, is I feel like they have them really, really high-tuned and strong. But most of all, it's just because it's the new area, and then they'll tone it down, you know? Whoops, goodbye. They just always kind of seem to do that, you know? Hello, idiots. Get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Th those quests are always easy. Like the wild goose chase quest. I'm sure it's easy. It's just it's got too many steps with me having to memorize like where he's talking about. That's that's why I don't really want to do it on stream because it's like I don't want to have to write crap down, dude. Like, no, thank you. Is that a chest? Oh, no, that's a barrel. Okay. As much as I'm getting distracted by stuff. Or distracted by exploration. We should actually focus on doing these quests. That's entirely up to you, Malaw. Depends which character you're more interested in, frankly speaking. Um, I think Ayaka can be stronger than Ayato, but... I personally am not the biggest fan of Ayaka. Just because I don't really like her sprint or anything like that. Yelan at least has, like, a really nice sprint. But she's a bow character, so I'm, like... I automatically know that I'm not very interested in her. What the... Weird. So many little weasels. Well, it was telling me specific times of day for some dumb reason. Okay. Okay. Well, it gave me specific times of day. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, weasel thief. Man, these are some tedious quests. Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, feed afternoon to keep their excessive energy in check. Around man, twelve to something. Two and zero o'clock. Twelve to zero. Okay. Bad. Did that not work? Yeah, get out of here. I'm just gonna keep attacking all of them, frankly. 
Oh, it's the same one. So can we get infinite eggs off of that? Weird. All right. Uh, so that's a two o'clock. Then there's the 12 and then zero o'clock. Okay. Never seen so many dialogue options. I know. <laughs> and all of them do the same thing. Isn't that funny how the game does that? Uh, it just seems to do the same one over and over. Yeah, look at that. We can just keep getting mushrooms. Interesting. Weird. Alright, zero o'clock it is. Later, Speedy. I like how that was the first message. Hello? Aha, that's the one. Apparently. You got the golden ring. Oh, and now it go takes us back underground. Okay, interesting. Well, let's go talk to this dum dum. Hello. Oh, God, I guess I'm supposed to find a bunch of these. Mind if the cast on these rocks can only be found in ore veins in the oldest of mountains. Okay, wait, is that. Okay. So if that's the ore that I think it is, there should be some over here. I've been marking it because I've been seeing it in my friend's world, but I never got it myself. If it's this ore. Um, this is not actually the spot that I thought it was. Maybe I didn't mark that spot. Still gonna grab all of it because it's diamonds. Plus, we get to kill this guy. Watch this. This is so funny. Rise! <laughs> oh my god. I love that thing. It's so stupid. Okay, where is... There's like a tree around here. Did I not mark it? Oh, I did mark it, but it's up here. Okay. Uh, I need to get to the higher floor here. Where's my Shao jump rock when I need it? Oh my lord. Go up here while I can, I guess. Yeah, it's your thing, Laird. More precious diamonds. Oh well. Okay, well. Oh god. I guess it worked. <laughs> And I can't ignore a chest because it's here, so. I've seen some people do some crazy weird builds with Ayato. Obviously they have really high constellations because his high constellations uh, makes it so that his ultimate will give him... Where the hell is it? So it'll end up giving him... Um... You know what? I'll just hit it from here. Gives him attack speed. And so some people have been m doing meme builds where they build him around attack speed. And, uh, yeah, he, he can attack pretty darn fast, dude. It's pretty funny. Like, he just goes ba 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 when he's in his E. I'd love to try and build the character towards that, but the fact that it's conducive to, like, having a high constellation is just like, no. I think this is the ore, right? Gather! Or is this already... Oh. That's weird. It's already gathered. Okay. It was already gathered in my friend's world, too. Okay, so he wants the ore from very specific locations, then. Weird. Yeah, I got C6, Kaza. I'm a freak. I know. Keep forgetting. I should be walking around as... Yo, boy. Does this chest have the ore? Hmm. Yes. No? Nice. Okay. Uh, well, there was a couple of spots that I saw it. 
I like how I won't do the wild goose chase that that era guy's quest tells me to go on, and yet I'll wander around aimlessly like an idiot searching for ore. What can I say? It's funner. Okay, where is this? Oh no, don't tell me it's something that's underground. Oh god! There's a cannon here. And I can use it. What am I even shooting at? I can't change the camera enough to know what I'm trying to aim for. <laughs> um... Okay, I can't aim any lower. I can't aim more to the right. I wish I could turn my camera so I could see what's going on. Does it actually let me shoot at that? Yeah, it does. Weird. Maybe that's how they intended you to, like, open the chasm. Or open the domain. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything I'm even shooting this cannon at. There's probably something weird that I can hit, but I don't know what. Oh, I hit something. What? It automatically pulled me out. <laughs> I was just shooting blindly. Um, okay. What did I hit? Yeah! I didn't know there was a treasure hoarder base over there either. What? What did I hit? Do I have to hit the ore with the cannon, maybe? That would be kind of weird. Uh, we don't know about a Kazahai rerun, dude. It's just speculation at this point, but I'd assume it's soon-ish. Um, not in next update, though, so it's, it's probably a while away if it is coming. I have no idea where I would have hit. Like, did I actually open something, or... Did it do nothing? <laughs> Probably. I guess I'll get this Sealy while we're here, but... Unless that was just a weird glitch, and it just pulled me out of the cannon, but it wasn't actually, uh... Okay. I thought that rock looked a little suspicious. But maybe nothing actually happened with the cannon. Give me your items. Oh, side note, you know how you can fight the husk now? That's a big boy chest over there. You can fight some husk now in the chasm and they end up dropping a new resource. So you can get this new resource out of the monthly shop as well. So if you got star glitter, you may as well use it. But on top of that, um, abyss lecterns and heralds that are in NK Nomiya, they will also end up dropping the uh, new resource now. So they backlogged it. Because they were supposed to drop that resource initially. But, I don't know, I guess they didn't want us getting prepared too soon. What the hell? No, go away! I mean, I have so much fodder for artifacts right now, dude. I wonder where the heck that cannon ended up firing. I should have taken a better look at it. I felt like it shot over here, but it doesn't look like it actually did anything. Weird. Okay. Uh, I know that there's one of those weird archaic ores up top here. Woo! Was it up here? Yeah, here it was. This one I think I already gathered. Stabilize. Yeah, so this was one of them. I didn't know that they actually made them like hard to get and that you had to find them around the map. Weird. Alright, well, we'll just ignore that then. Yet another quest where I gotta search around, so I'll I'll figure that out myself in my off time. Or when we're just kind of randomly exploring things. Oh, 
I see that though. Not to say I'm not trying to randomly explore right now, but I want to get like, you know, the focus today is kind of going to be the world quest. Now, do I have to have an archer? Or is it a Zhongli one? Yep. Boop. And easily just do that myself. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for it. <laughs> I'm assuming you saw that same uh, video, Hollow. Maybe maybe you're just making the same a similar joke. Um, yeah, there is an our content creator that ended up making a pretty funny meme video. Aha! So I saw these before, but I didn't realize that I had to have pressure on that plate. Get! I genuinely enjoy all of the Geo puzzles being back. Like, my god. Oh boy. Hello, Chongo Bongo. Big boy chest, give it to me. Get out of the way. I don't want to fight your son. I want to fight the dad. Wake up. Yeah, come on. Stand beside each other. Come on. I like using Ayato. Does he hit as hard as my other characters? I mean, kind of, but not really. I'll say he hits as hard, but over a longer period of time. I haven't actually measured out how much his E does for me. I just know that it can do like 10 to 14K per hit, so it's pretty darn strong. I also uh, was doing a little bit more testing and um, even though I had like, uh, basically I swapped one of my artifacts out for one that had more um, HP rather than crit. And uh, it seemed to scale on him a little bit better, which is what I expected anyways, but most of all, it was just a weird trade-off. But yeah, he scales uh, very similarly to Hu Tao. Yelan apparently is scaling off HP as well, so she's going to end up being pretty much the exact same gear that you have on Ayato. You could swap to her and you'll be fine. Okay, that's the same... Okay, I was going to say that's the same hill of that I knocked off. Why is he back? But I realized I don't think I killed him, so that's why he respawned. Anyways, let's go over here before we go to the underground and it's pitch black. Yeah, I like Yulan's, uh Her dash attack seems really cool. Hey, is that the new ore? Oh. Pfft. Nope. I haven't really, woo, I haven't looked too in depth uh, with her abilities and stuff. Not yet anyways, but I have all of the info. Come here, you. Die. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> hey, man. What up, gamer? Is that there was an Araceli over here somewhere, but... Oh god, okay. A chest inside a box. Now that's a weird one. Hmm. Okay, well, do we got an error open world quest? No, these are all underground. Alright, sure. I guess we'll go underground. I mean, obviously there's a lot more things that we could end up exploring on the surface, but frankly speaking, the underground is where it's at. Look, it's so evil, and then the music's really good. Wait, her again? Okay, weird. I still find it so strange, the lack of um, voiced dialogue in here. Like, it's fine, but there's just like... It's very weird how, like, few uh, voice actors they used in this update. The funny thing is I was actually, um, 
off camera, I was just wandering around in Inazuma because I was going to the signatory shop and uh, a quest started chaining and I noticed that Paimon was actually speaking and I was like, uh-oh, I guess I better ult F4 and come back to this later. And then um, when I logged into the game, it immediately threw me into that cutscene again. So <laughs> I just had to skip all of it. And then I realized, oh, okay. And then I realized that it's Ayato's story quest, which we still will save for uh, another time, but... Oh God, it's just down there, okay. Look at this, this is odd. My map says I can go over here. Oh, can I go up? Where did they come from? Can I please get a better camera angle on this? No, I can't go up there. It's too dark. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, you guys didn't miss much. The intro was just a bunch of characters like whining and complaining about like their clothes or something. Something non-interesting. You know how it is. <laughs> Ooh, big boy chest. Really? Oh, that's not big boy. Also, there's my shortcut that I was just talking about. Order guide you. Are you gone, Genshin? Noise. Yeah, you've been having a lot of trouble with it, right? Hey, Genshin! You know what? I shouldn't use water on him. Get out here. I don't know where he is. I just assume that he'll die because that's what Kazaha's ult does. Stabilize. Shortcut. Shortcut. Hey, there it is. What the hell? Oh, I don't have my lantern on. I have to use my lantern to activate this chest? Oh, that's weird. That is very weird. I think I've come across one or two of those before. Oh, hello, husk. Don't really know what you're doing in here, but you're in a conductor of water, so. Look at him get juggled, Jesus. <laughs> that is so weird. Jeez. Uh, how do you find the chasm map so far? Oh, like just the map itself? I love it, dude. They've... Uh, They've gone above and beyond with the map design, frankly speaking. Like, it's really, really tight. The way that the exploration works, how easy, like, so much ease of use stuff, it's, uh, it's really, really good. Doesn't seem like we can go up there. Interesting. Guess it was just for the chest and the husk. Which I should mark where he is, but that's okay. I can use the interactive map if need be. But no, I love how, like, the chasm seems to be all interconnected and stuff. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, dark caves or anything like that. But generally speaking, it's very, very well designed. Um, and speaking of, like, ease of use, like, when you upgrade your flashlight enough, eventually it'll just start pointing to the crystals. So it basically acts like a Leeway treasure compass. And it's just, it's really crazy. The funny thing is that I find the chasm itself to be the most interesting part of this update. I hated the story quest with Dane's Leaf. Like, it was just bad, um, in my opinion. Because it didn't really, like, go anywhere, and it was just, I don't know. I don't really have that much hope for the lore. That said, I really liked the world quest for the chasm, but I, we, I feel like it really needed to have dialogue, you know? Like, right here. It's like, this mushroom seems super duper important, but they don't bother having voice actors talk, so it's not worth me reading. That's my mentality, anyway. Wait, the giant mushroom is talking to me? Jesus Christ. Okay. Maybe I don't want it to have dialogue. <laughs> oh. Zamoran. Uh, okay. Whoa, Zamoran. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I'm using Kazaha as a DPS. I'm using Mist Splitter on him because I found that it scaled better than his uh, main stupid elemental sword. I actually got really lucky and got his elemental sword, but it's just such a bad weapon. Oh, there's a narrow one. Okay, they want me to get all of these. All right. 
<laughs> the cute mushroom guys. I love these dudes. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's there's so much like cool lore stuff within the chasm, and it's like I want to know the lore of the chasm. Like, it's really cool stuff. But for some reason, they didn't. It, it, it's almost like they didn't go the extra mile where it counted. The funny thing too, I don't know if you guys saw the meme. Oh lord. So, you know, I, I won't spoil it, but if you ended up doing the Dane's Leaf quest, uh, eventually it has like kind of a cool action cutscene where Traveler ends up like, you know, jumping in the air, pulls his sword out and everything. And it's like, oh man, this is so cool. And um, there was just a feeling in the back of my head of like, why don't I think that this looks cool? Like, why is this, you know, not a big deal? And then, um, <laughs> some meme channels pointed out the fact that they literally reused the 3D animation from that cutscene, from a cutscene that was already in Inazuma. <laughs> Devs are cheaping out, dude, like... Oh my god. Can't perform combat in combat, or action in combat. I'm not in combat, but okay. But when I saw that, I was just like, my god. That was hilarious. Anyways, there we go. <sighs> oh, yeah, no problem, Bard. Yeah, it's been a while since I saw you, bud. Hope things have been good, though. Yep, I love the chasm, dude. I only wish that they had more voice actors for a lot of these quests to make it a little more interesting, but still love the area nonetheless. Unfortunately, I feel it's going to be yet another uh, one and done, which is kind of just a problem with Genshin as a whole, I guess, where, you know, you kind of get max exploration and then it's like, okay, there's no point going here ever again. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Like, unless there's resources for, like, a character that you want. Do that. Eh. Come here, mushrooms. I should charge up this mushroom, and then it should attack me. Like, it just slowly tries to consume me. As mushrooms do. Go away, bugs. Will it let me do this out of combat? Yeah, good. Oh my god. I love these cute little mushroom guys, dude. More enemies like this in the game, please. The chasm is the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update. Prove me wrong. Yeah, things are going good for me now, man. There was uh, a bit of a uh, bit of negative stuff ended up happening about a month or two ago, but it's all been resolved now. Ah, beautiful. Xamarin. Oh, hail, Paimon. Excuse me? You need more errands? Amongst two legs, you two do indeed deserve the title of the wise. Why? Because we're insulting you so much? Weirdo. They ain't collect many chasms in the or chests in the chasm for content purposes. Oh, you mean, uh, yeah, like, so that you could do it on stream or something? Is that what you mean? Blessing of wisdom. What the hell? Follow the water's flow. Okay. They have a lot of weird items that you get at quests here. By the way, it's very strange. Also, Merc. The Warden is on the snapshot in Minecraft, apparently. I'm still waiting for the full release before I go for it, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting more and more interested. Minecraft's one of those games where it's really hard for me to get into, but when I do, my god. Then it becomes my life. Okay, three mages. Let's go. Every element. Okay. This'll be fun. 
Actually, it's fine because I got Kazaha and he destroys everything. Did I do it? Oh. Oh, you meant the warden in Genshin. Yes. Should you have any use for them? Okay, that makes more sense. I would actually like weird horror elements in this game for sure. <laughs> By my sounds like who from Psychonauts? I don't remember the characters in Psychonauts, I'm sorry. Ah! Uh, I did beat Elden Ring, yes. Uh, but I was going through a new game plus and um, I do still plan on playing it more. It's just because I already beat it, like there wasn't really as much incentive. But yeah, I do still plan on playing it more. I've been playing through it a lot off camera. It's just for streaming purposes. It was kind of like, I got a lot of um, quests left to do, which is a little bit annoying. Oh my God, do they seriously want me to climb all the way to the top of this? Is there seriously no easier way up here? Oh God. This is terrible. Where's my Mario jump blocks, dude? Hello? It's still higher up. <laughs> okay, Bard. Yeah. Yeah, that game had some really good voice actors, too. Am I finally at the... Oh my god, really? Whoa. I don't know if I've ever climbed up this, actually. Because I think that I came from above, but maybe not. Hi, Spiderling. Good lord, it still just keeps going, huh? Okay. This is the true test. Make sure you have enough stamina. There's even a crystal up here, too. Okay, I'll take it. Oh god, there's a lot of things up here. Yeah, see, I could have came from the other angle. Damn it! Hmm. Oh! Never mind, this isn't even part of the quest. It was pointing me to the next crystal. I forgot that my, uh... My flashlight points at, like, crystals now. So that's what it was pointing at. It wasn't trying to tell me where the quest was, because I actually just have to go talk to the stupid mushroom again anyway. Uh, you can use Ayato as a main DPS, sure. But frankly speaking, his scaling is not as good as some other characters. But it, I mean, let's face it, it really depends on constellations. Like, Ayato can be absolutely cracked at C6, obviously, as a DPS character. But, I mean, which character isn't? Um, I mean, my Ayato still hits pretty hard. It's just that my other characters I have, like, almost perfected. Whereas Ayato's still lacking a little bit. In terms of, uh, artifacts. But I've already sunk so much resin into the Hydro Artifacts that it's just like, bleh. Certainly worth the extra mile. I'm sure Ayato would probably hit harder with the new artifacts, but it's like, do I care? No, I don't. I almost forgot about this crystal. Also, yeah, 200k gang. It's coming, dude. Thank you. Anything else up here while we're at it? I don't ever want to climb up here again. Yeah, I'm hoping to do this Genshin stream tonight, and then uh, possibly we'll stream Elden Ring. But whenever I stream Elden Ring, it's usually for hours, so that's why I didn't want to do it first. No promises, it's just that's the plan. But who knows if uh, I'll end up following through with that. Gimme, 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 gimme. So much ore, dude. I gotta mark this. Whenever I find the good ore spots, I gotta. 
Oh. One man's stone is another man's gem. Weird, but okay. Wait, where's this gonna go? Woo! Apparently there's even higher up. Good lord. Okay. Oh, I see. This is just a shortcut up to these guys. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like we're going full circle anyway. Can grab the quest from these guys in a bit. Because I don't need... Well, I may as well get it right now while we're here. Also see if I can upgrade my flashlight some more. Can I? Nope. Need four more of the gems. How are things? Things are good. Minecraft dungeons? Uh, I thought about it. Place the measuring beacons. Alright, I'll do that later. I've thought about it, but Minecraft dungeons kind of just... You know, man. Like, it kind of it kind of lost a lot of its interest. Okay, I can't glide out of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he got to ragdoll. <sighs> oh my god. They set that up on purpose, dude. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Well, it seems like there is a pathway over this way, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, Minecraft Dungeons added, like, what, the Battle Pass and stuff? Which is for, like, emotes and skins. Not really anything super special. I don't know. I, I tried getting back into it, but it's kind of just... Bit of a weird one. Oh, Xamarin. I'm here, you alien from Half-Life. Yeah, the season pass or whatever, exactly. I'm not saying I'm against Minecraft Dungeons, it just, I don't know. Never really caught back on again, you know what I mean? Oh! Okay, that's it. Cool, Xamarin, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Woof. They really want me to put these in annoying places, huh? At least most of them are by fast travel points. Okay, fine. Minecraft VR? Oh, I got I got bored of that. See, the thing is with Minecraft, like I'm very particular and you you know me, like I, I'm not the biggest fan of crafting games. That said, I did finally end up getting obsessed with Minecraft for a little while. Like, it was like the... I was playing it with my buddies, and then that was the one time where I finally was like, Okay, I understand why people get addicted to this. And then I played it to death, and now I don't know if I'll go back to it. <laughs> At least not for a while. I'm kind of waiting for the Warden update, which I've seen, and it doesn't look super interesting. But, I don't know. Not to say it looks boring or anything, it's just kind of like, Oh cool, I can go to the Warden City and get more diamond armor, wow. <laughs> Bro, you can't gift anything in Genshin. Honestly, if I could, I probably would. Oh god, okay, well. Solidify. Just because I do like giving things away. But, uh, nah. Genshin don't have it, dude. You think Genshin would have gifting? No. No, it won't. It would take too much away from their sales, right? Yeah. There we go. Who needs an archer? Stone is another man's job. Like, I was really surprised, um, what was it, my buddy was telling me, how, like, there's apparently, like, gifting in, uh, Fortnite. 
Trove should have gifting too, dude. Like seriously, every game should have gifting. I'm joking when I say it would take away from their income because on the contrary, it would actually make them gain more because then people could actually gift things like... Especially like content creators, right? Spending so much goddamn money on these games anyways. I mean, personally speaking, I just think that more games, like, need reward systems. <sighs> eh. Six. Seven. Seven. Oh, there it is. Eh, no, it's getting away from me. <sighs> oh, look, there's one of those stupid Conria language things. Certainly worth the extra money. So I saw, uh, once again on the Reddit, these people are crazy. They found out, like, uh, with these ciphers, they were able to figure out, like, what the rest of the... They have, like, a translation now for the Conria language. Which, oh my god, those lore nuts. Good job, but I could never... I don't care. <laughs> What is this thing over here? This is not related to this world quest that we're doing. This light over here. No, no, no. I don't think... Yeah. I, I think that the it would be a very easy way that they could set it up for the gifting. I don't think that they would have Freema gems giftable. I think it would have to be out of the cash shop only. Like only ones that you've bought. Because otherwise, yeah, that would become way too much of a problem. Because then you could just keep starting free accounts just to get all the free wishes. And then just transfer them. Lots of games already do stuff like that. Like, even, even you know, with regards to Fortnite. Um, what they do in that game is, it's like, when you buy something, you have to buy it to gift it. You can't, like, oh, I've got this cool skin here. It's like, no, it's already unlocked on your account. So you can't give it away to somebody. delicious items good god do we have an air free pull actually <gasps> we do guys this is it <laughs> oh you know what that means though oh it did <laughs> that sword didn't even give me enough are you kidding me <laughs> didn't even get enough goddamn star glitter <laughs> jeez whoa I may have to double check how close I am to pity. Last I checked, I was at like maybe 45 out of uh, 70 at the lowest pity. And I am on my, uh, I will win my 50-50, so. There we go. I know, dude, I know. I think, I think the same thing towards, like, studying a fictional language. I mean, don't get me wrong. I used to do stuff like that when I was younger. Just because it's like, you know, you get really invested with uh, games that you're playing at the time and stuff. I'm trying to think which game I ended up kind of learning the language in it. But it was just like, I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a really cool looking scene. Dude, this is like an Elden Ring dungeon or something. Uh, yeah, I already got C1 on, uh, Ayato. I got really lucky with my Freema gems, actually. Hello? Where are you going? Like, when I ended up doing my pulls, I think I got, like... I got, like, four or five five stars within, like... It was something... It was ridiculous, dude. Because I ended up getting, um, I got Ayato, and then I got Ayato C1. I got, my Mona finally got to C6, of course. Chi Chi C6. Uh, and then I also ended up getting, like, the Ganyu bow. <laughs> All within, like, such a short time frame. Funny, because I didn't want any of those items, but that's exactly why I got all of them, I'm sure. Can you... Ah!
Was that guy guarding anything? Yeah, it looks like he was. But yeah, that's probably one of the luckiest times that I ever got. Most of all, it's because it was all things that I didn't want. Even Ayato, like, I wanted him, sure, but... Yes. But I'm actually, like, free to play on this game now. I don't buy my Welkin. Uh, I don't even bother with the Battle Pass. I might this time. We'll see. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really care. Like, I've got, I got real-life bills to pay, man. I can't be spending all this money on the game. The funny thing is... Oh, my God. This is, this is why I'm marrying this woman. When I told Mariko, I was like, hey, babe, I want to spend another grand on Genshin to max out a character. And she didn't, like... Uh, she's just... I love her so goddamn much. Where she was just like, you're a grown man, so you can make whatever decision you want. <laughs> And I was like, no, don't worry, I don't actually want to do that. But it was just, it was funny. I was, like, I was kind of teasing her with it because I wanted her to tell me, don't do it, but... What is this? What is this pointing me to? What the hell? Oh, this is pointing me to the next gem. Right, okay, I keep forgetting that it's actually, like, pointing me to them now. Anyways, let's go to the higher levels. Up here? Oh, God, God. Please! <laughs> yes, exactly. It's the it's the final arc. I've gotten through the whale yes. phase. I, I mean, that's the thing. I never played, like, a gacha game, so it's like... The funny thing is that I, um... If I'm being real, there's still a part of me that would want to spend more money. But it's like, I know that it's like, it's like genuinely like gambling, dude. Like it's, it's addicting, you know? And so just because I'm aware of that and, uh, like, I just kind of am like, nah. <laughs> oh, this will actually take us up to where we need to go. Hee hee. I didn't even know I could go up here. Where are you, Crystal? Uh-oh. Where is this bringing me? I'm not trying to knock anyone that wants to pay to win on this game or anything. Oh my lord. Hello. Mm. Give it to me. Yes. Very nice. Also, hello? Oh, and there are a photo for the dumb dinosaur thing. I don't know what that is, but I think it's a quest. Is this? No, this isn't. I thought this was a stony halls. So, oh god, that means I can go higher than this. Uh-oh. Where's my boost? It's so dark in here, I hate it. Okay, I guess we gotta climb up to there. Because apparently there's another gem up here somewhere. Climb, you idiot. Climb. Ugh. Stop sliding, please. Don't try going any higher. I did it for three hours. It took three hours for you to get to the top? Dude. I'll beat that race. <laughs> I'll beat you up there. <laughs> no, I, I totally believe you. But it says there's a gem up here, dude. Why would the game lie to me? Or is this... This has got to be like just a normal... Ah! Wait. Eh? Maybe? Okay, I don't... Ah! I need to go... Does this fast travel point get me where I need to go? No. Uh, right here, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, it's not from this first room, is it? Hello, Seely. I think it's here. 
and then... God, this place is a maze. Because I know, like, right here, this is kind of a main room that I need to get to. But I'm trying to remember how I get there. I know that I can get there from here, and it goes whoop, and then there's like a shortcut that goes up here? No. Maybe underneath at the bottom of it. I'm trying to remember. Like, they seem to do- oh, there's an iron crystal. Oh god! That one! Ugh. They want me to type rope over to it. I don't want to do it, dude. I would much rather just climb my way around, or use like Venti or something. Oh god. It physically hurts. It physically causes me anguish to walk across those with a joystick. <sighs> Still so many things I gotta explore. Yeah, I think it's down there by the waterfall. I could be wrong. <sighs> Offering. A tip that uh, people said, which makes sense, is... Um, if you use a bow character and then you start aiming, that's a good way that you can keep the joystick or keep the camera from screwing around. Doesn't mean that it's not still anguish. But on controller at the very least, it is better. Hey dum dum, where are you going? Where are you going, I said? Stop it, man. There's stuff up there. Yeah. Follow the wind. I like how these Seelies almost always, like, they do a really good job in here, kind of showing you where, like, little secrets are and stuff. Sorry, I thought that was a book on the ground. But my god, the amount of parkour that they want you to do in this area sucks. I think the real reason it bothers me so much is because it's like... Because <laughs> it's like, why why did they have to make so much parkour in this area? Or not, not even this, this area, sorry. In this game, like, the jumping is so freaking bad. And your character, like, slides around on the terrain and stuff like that. Like, it's like... It's the last thing I want to do. Like, when Elden Ring parkour is better than this, you know it's bad. Hey, dum-dum. Get over here. Come with your buddies. I will have order. Also, hey, Dark Moon. I'm sorry I didn't say hello. Oh! That was another weird thing I wanted to share with you guys that I saw people talking about on the Reddit. So, apparently... I don't know if it's intentional. It's probably a bug. Ayato basically counts as he's made of water because even if you don't use any of his abilities, you can actually have hydro reactions off of him, like in multiplayer. Stabilize. Which is so weird. Oh lord, hello. I assume that's a bug, but I don't know. Oh, just stopping by. Yeah, all good, brother. Well, bye bye resources. All yours. Should but I saw people using like you know Animo Traveler and other characters to end up having a reaction go off, which feels like it's unintentional. It's probably a glitch to do with his E ability, actually. But who knows? Yeah, oof. Apparently there's another crystal somewhere beside me. Can you get there? Time to go. <laughs> and apparently there's even higher up. Don't tell me there's actually something if I climb all the way up there. Are you serious? No, 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 no. It looks like there might be. I don't want to do it. 
Ay, 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 ay. All right, well, there was a Sealy over here, I think. There's also... Is that an actual functional elevator? No, it isn't. Weird. I think it is going to activate, but it just doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, there's my crystal, just down there. So many of these stupid little sealies around, dude. Woo! Do you have Sucrose built? No, I don't. I build the characters that I think are cool. <laughs> I don't build for team comp or anything like that. I know which teams work the best, you know, Sucrose, Mona, Bennett, all of that crap, but... I'm not, uh... Too concerned about it. Wait, what the? Well, that's gonna be that Araceli that's just up there, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's a big boy chest, so that's definitely worth going for. Good god. But yeah, I basically just use the characters that I think are cool. Bong! <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, I see. It was supposed to be, like, in the pot. Interesting. Ah! Is this the secret way through? I don't even know, dude. Get out of here. Stupid weasel. I do like how this flashlight's implemented, dude. Like... At first, I thought it was going to be really annoying, and then it turns out it's actually really cool. Oh! So it's the one elevator in this whole stinking area that activates based on when I stand on it, rather than all the other ones that just constantly go back and forth. Okay. Weird. And then, bop, bop. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, and an air gust. Honestly, that's better than the loot. Almost like the game forgot these existed, but this is way better than using the uh, elevator, frankly. Oh, there's a challenge right there. That's going to be an archery challenge. Ugh. Gross. Okay. Bet you that's an archery challenge. Uh, the Lumen Stones, so you'll basically, you, you don't gotta worry about the Lumen Stones too much, dude, because you'll find them, like, all over the place. Oh, God. Uh, you'll, you'll just happen to find them, like, in lots and lots of different places. But eventually, when you upgrade your flashlight enough, um, you'll actually be able to... Whee! It'll point you to the next Luma Stone, like the closest one next to you. Uh, unless you're talking about the ore that's required in order to level up your flashlight, in which case that is... Uh, can you climb this, idiot? That's actually tied to world quests and uh, certain specific areas where they just give you them. Well, I didn't want to fight you guys, but... But goodbye. Illusion shattered. You dead? Test <laughs> subject. Okay, I really gotta. Okay, I don't know where that other. I I don't know where the other entrance is, so I'm just gonna go this way because I don't care. I know that this way gets me in here. Also, yes, I really like the way that these white sealies look. Because they give you uh, they give you the flashlight recharge. They're like batteries. Duracell battery sealy. I want Genshin to come to Switch. Yeah, so does everybody else except for MiHoYo. Or Hoyo Lab, whatever they call themselves now. Funny thing is they advertised Genshin coming to Switch, and then I guess they just forgot. <laughs> I don't know. 
Maybe Nintendo was like, bruh, you guys are just doing a gotcha ripoff of Zelda. No, <laughs> I don't know. I think that they could also stand to put Genshin on Xbox as well. Like, they, it should just be on everything, right? Okay, so here is the specific entrance I was talking about. Oh my god. It was over here. It was just, just to the left of the waterfall. God damn it. I knew there was an entrance here. Anyways, we get to go to one of my favorite rooms in the chasm. Look at this. Isn't this so freaking cool? It's intimidating, too, because of the husks down here. I just wish that they actually had voices, because they should. They're uniquely named. Edge, though. I think the, uh, no, no joke, I'm pretty sure the Genshin devs said they're waiting for the next, uh, Nintendo Switch, didn't they? Because they said that the current Switch just isn't strong enough or something. Oh, yeah, Merc, yeah, something like that. Well, now I can finally open these, so this will be interesting. What? That's that giant-ass waterfall. This is literally where we were- where you were climbing, Dark Moon. Okay. Shortcut, I guess, if you call it that. So that's where it goes. It's intended to jump down it, not climb up it. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Is that all of them? I thought it was, but I want to get this while I'm here. Open up. Whoa! More room! Oh my lord! Gotta make damn sure I come back here. Certainly worth the extra It's beautiful. Good lord. I'm rich. There's so much, dude. It's beautiful. Stabilize. That's the thing about the chasm, man. There's so many rooms of ore. It's absolutely insane. You want ore? This is where you come. Jesus. Okay, where is... Do I not have all of these active... Oh, I do. Okay, so the game was lying to me. Ah! Mario jump. Boing! Thank you, big boy chest. Thank you. Get rid of that. Um, we still got more world quests. I keep forgetting. That's what I was going to do. Give the ring back to... It's still pointing me here for the... Uh, for the next stone or something, which is weird. Hey, Gleam! What? Who wants the ring? Hello? Oh, this idiot. Hey, man. I found your ring. Is this Ranny's quest line? For the Dark Moon ring? Oh, that's it. Okay, done. Cool. Oh, that's an NK no Mia. Right. Still haven't done that quest. Alright, did I get enough of these? I think I got like three, maybe four. Did I get four? No, I got three. Eh. Oh, hey, Scythe. Did I say hi, Gleam? I, I think I did. Uh, Sumeru is not 2.7. God, no. I wish. So, I don't know if you guys saw, they actually drip marketed another character. Um, which seems funny because they did it at uh, April Fool's. Is it really just pointing me over here? I guess it is. But I think it was real. Like, it wasn't intended as a joke or anything like that. Uh, the weird thing is, though, that the character that they showed, it's a Leeway character called, like, Yao Yao or something. I don't know. It was a character we saw leaked a long freaking time ago. Uh, and the real exciting thing is that she's a Dendro character, which means that 
Probably in 2.8, we'll start seeing Dendro characters show up. Don't know if we're necessarily going to find Sumeru specifically, but... It's exciting, to say the least. Unsolicited. And all Where does this take me? This looks cool. Oh, it's just pfft, down there. Whatever. But the funny thing is that they... Uh, once upon a time, they said that the reason they're delaying all of the Dendro stuff is uh, literally just because of marketing. They're not going to release Dendro characters until they see their sales start to decline, and then they're going to release the next uh, element specifically to rope in players again. I find it weird that they haven't, like, actually showed us a cool Dendro character. Like, I don't want Baiju, and I don't want this other kid character either. So it's like, okay. Oh my god. Was this? It was from this room? No, because that was there. Yeah, so I actually have to come from there. To get that next gem, I think. We will check. We... I don't know why my frames are draining in Genshin today. This is weird. Nah, I'm not hyped for Dendro at all, frankly speaking. Like... It seems like Dendro is going to kind of be like an earthy poison element, and that's not really my thing. Like, I'm not super into it. Fire normally is one of my favorites, but I just... I don't know. Not really the biggest fan of fire characters uh, in Genshin. I loved Diluc, but then by the time I got him, I didn't care anymore. And he was uh, pathetically power creeped. I'm, well, Dendro is going to interact with Pyro extremely well, I know that much, but I think it's probably going to have an interaction with every element. We'll have to wait and see, though. Was that something? Looked like it, but no. I mean, I'm curious to see the say the least of how they're going to interact, but at the same time, I'm not, like, super sold on it. Okay. This is very weird. That was something up there? Okay, it did look suspicious. I'm gonna go back up there. Unless you're mixing it up with... Uh, I'm noticing that you just showed up. Oh, hello. I will double check. I'm not saying I'm not going to. It's just, I did already go into that uh, tunnel and grab the item that was in it on the top of the stones. So unless there just so happens to be some other weird thing up there. And all the more valuable food. And I already took the dinosaur picture too. If that's what you're talking about, William. But I'll do a double check. Just one of those stones look really weird to me. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured, Greg. Dendro's going to be weird. Oh, so you did end up climbing up? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, funny enough, there's actually an entrance over here that you can destroy the rock and get into hit, uh, into this spot. Oh, that was just one of those Shao stones. The super jump. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, that's what I did to come through from this side, William. So maybe there wasn't anything. Maybe I already got all the goodies. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. But I think I got it all already. Because there was, on this level, there was a big boy chest and there was a picture of dinosaur bones. Yeah, I guess there wasn't anything. Weird. Oh, there's my gem. How did I not notice that? Jesus. No, no, it's all good, Will. It was good that I came back through that another time anyways, because I got to see the gem. <laughs> so it worked out. OK. 
Okay. Now, I don't know where... Oh. Look at that. Right on top of the fast travel point, there's some stuff up there. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know where this is, actually. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This was, uh, there was like a gate here. <sighs> Funny thing is I activated this one and the one on the other side, but I don't think that was all of them that needed to be active. Oh, there's the last one. Aha! Ooh, that was a hidden one. Maybe that wasn't all of them? Can I break the wall? Oh. That means the last one's in here. Right? Can I get at it from underneath? Is that the trick? Hmm. Ah! Bad bugs. What am I missing here? Where? How do I get to this last one? From the front? Oh yeah, from the front. Right in here. Oh my god, how did I not... Okay. There we go. That one was actually kind of tricky. One man's stone. Should have been a big boy chest. I'm still super curious, how the hell do I get higher up on this level? I guess from here, right? And then maybe come over here? Oh, never mind. This is literally going that way. Well, let's see. No, this isn't the higher level, because this is just this idiot. Not sure. Yeah, and Kenomiya was awesome, dude. I still don't have it at 100% either, frankly speaking. But it was a very, very cool area. Albeit the exploration goals on it were, uh... I won't say difficult, but it was just kind of a little bit annoying. So that's why I never bothered doing it. I actually just went there the other day to clean up some of the quest lines. But it still didn't get me nearly as much percentage uh, to the exploration, so I was just like, eh, whatever. All yours, should you have any use for them. I gotta find time to do it eventually, but I'm not too concerned yet. Oh, this looks like it's going to a higher level. There he is, so 3D, dude. Crystal. Oh, that didn't even... That just went full circle. For Christ's sake. Alright, it must have been something I missed inside the Upside Down Castle then. Which is kind of annoying. Why is this still here? Oh, that was part of the quest. It's just still glowing for some reason. Okay. Get off of that. Stop it. I don't know if there was a way up back to the castle again. I mean, there is, but... The place is not the best for exploring, frankly speaking. Like, it's really cool, but I feel like the center area is more so tedious. Because there's not enough, like, updraft blocks or, like, elevators and stuff in this area. Like, it just... Or these. Born? Need more of those, please. Wait, there's, like, an NPC over there. Oh, that's a quest. Good thing I stumbled upon him, because I don't know if I would have ever seen him before. Uh-oh. 
Doggos. Alright, fine. They're actually strong enemies, so. Not many enemies can make me pull out Raiden, but those guys, yes. Why is this guy in a baseball getup? Like, okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Look at this. This guy's quest might actually change the terrain down here to be a little bit more functional. Just because he's talking about something about building down here. He might not, but we'll see. That would be pretty cool. Uh-oh. You take him back to the adventurer's camp. My toy is missing. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yes. Good lord, dude. Of course I'll help you find your toy. You're only a grown man, but whatever. Oh, it's his daughter's toy. Okay. Help him find the lost doll. Alright. That actually looked like it was in the poison area. Oh no, it is up here. Okay. Doggos! They despawned and then they spawned in. Crumble. There another one? Examine the strange box. What? Oh. Tap 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 tap. Oh my god, dude. When will Genshin find- Oh, good lord, what are you doing down here? When will Genshin finally give us, like, they gave us autoplay, which is cool, but for these world quests, give us a skip button. Or fast forward or something. Or like, just, let me press a button and it just skips back to gameplay. Look for the doll. Okay, where? Ugh. Well, I guess I'll just walk there. <laughs> oh no! All the quests in Genshin are easy as hell. It's just, uh, the most difficult thing is tapping through them. <laughs> oh my lord, more ore. Gimme. Beautiful. Yet another spot that I need to mark because my god. I guess they just decided, hey, let's make every player the like mining company. Never mind the fact that I have thousands of ore already. Alright. <laughs> yes, Greg. Oh no, look out! Why is she trying to play with them? Uh oh, big doggo. Where'd you go? Bad dog, he dodged my ult. God damn it. Gimme. I saved you, I saved you, I saved you. Hit these. Oh my god. I still don't know where this one gem is that it's pointing me to. It's like a crystal, apparently, right beside me somewhere. Did I get it? Let's return. Okay. Bring the doll back. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, yes. 200k video. Playing games that shut down within the time that my channel's been alive. Which would not be that many, frankly speaking. <laughs> I think it would just be MapleStory, wouldn't it? I don't know. There might be other ones, but...
That's not it. Uh oh. Which server? What? Do I keep following this? No? Come here, light bug. I must be missing just one. Oh, yeah, there you are. For a common chest? Bleh. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Bleh. Oh, there it is. That's okay. I just go through the crystal rock wall thing. Okay. So it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was. Hey, dum dum. Wakey wakey. It's time for school. Stay in the ground. Thank you. Aha! Also, more gems. Yes. More crystals. Oh my god. So many big boy chests, dude. Do I bother marking these? Eh, maybe. Eh, it's close enough to a fast travel point, I suppose. Okay, where's the... Turn this quest in. Hello? Please head to Tavat. Oh. They're back on the surface for some weird reason. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you meant, Thiege. Okay. Yeah, I didn't understand. Like I lo I try to log into these games and it's like guys why is there why are the servers offline I guess there must be maintenance this is so weird just play the Korean version right and then I could do one uh, with Trove right oh. I got your toy, dum dum. Shut up. Probably trying to have um some weird story where that's not my daughter. Or, I don't know, or I adopted her. I don't know. They're trying to do like some type of heart to heart, but it's all in text, so I don't care. Oh my god, yeah, you remembered more than I did, dude. I don't remember any of those. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that the Firefall devs are actually working on a new game that nobody really cares about? <laughs> they got, like, Kickstarters and stuff, and the game looks okay, but it looks like it's going to be an error one that'll flop like Firefall did. It's too bad, because I liked Firefall, but it just didn't really carry... Yeah, Firefall Sky Saga, which, I mean, we all know why that one died. And then, um, sorry, I'm just kind of looking for the ore. I see a challenge over there I want to go for. Happy Wars. Fun fact is we, me and my buddies actually keep talking about Happy Wars more recently. That game was good. It was kind of stupid, but it was good. It was just kind of guilty fun, you know? Oh my god, more crystals. I'll take it. Give me all of them. Also, I keep forgetting I can upgrade my flashlight again, so I should do that. Brrr, give me. Please make it so that Kazakha or any animal character can vacuum up ores now. Please. Because they can't vacuum up ore, and it's really annoying. Eh. Where was that challenge? I think it was here, right? Oh god, parkour. Okay. I, can you... Stupid goddamn game, dude. You ever have that happen where sometimes he just doesn't, like... They don't open their wings? Like... Oh. Well, th that was close. Could have ve very easily missed that one. This kind of sucks. This is like the wind trays event, or whatever it was called. Oh my god. 
Thank God I got Kazaha. Jeez. Oh. Bro, look at this treasure hoarder just checking out this sign. Get away from there, man. That's my sign. <laughs> I didn't even realize this rock went off and it one shot him. Oh my god. Weird. I keep forgetting that those can actually cause damage. And then I saw this chest down here. Grow force, right. Oh my god, that's an old shout out. I forget if they were working on Bro Force 2 or I, I think they were just working on like a new game in general. Whoops! I pressed that instinctively because of Elden Ring. It's the same button to pick crap up. Oh well. Yes. Very nice. Maybe, maybe it was that they had, like, DLC for Broforce or something. Oh my god, there's an air chest over there. Is that... that's, like, right here somewhere. Well, I'll jump and go this way, I guess. Yeah, that's okay, Epic. You take off if you got it, bud. I know I'm streaming at weird times. I want to stream some more stuff after this, but I, I, frankly speaking, I love the idea that I can finally have an excuse to play Genshin again for a little bit. Hmm. Yes, for a little bit, because we all know the chasm is not going to last long. It's a shame, too, because it's such a cool area. But it's just kind of a flaw with uh, Genshin as a whole, I guess. Because it's like you only really have, like, the only reason you end up going into areas is so that you can gather materials for characters. Or to get, like, the Freema gems out of chests and junk, and then once you're done with it, there's no point going back, so... Unless you need the materials. Which is exactly why I loved the Enkenomiya event. And really, really hope that they do more... Cool. They do more stuff like that. Okay, those are all done. That's Ayato's quest line. Can I do... Guys, we got our free wish. We got our free wish. Five star incoming. Oh. The hell is my history at? Let's actually take a peek. Okay, one, two, three. Come on, hurry up. Oh boy. Eleven. Jeez. Okay. And that's six per page, so six times eleven. We're at roughly, we could say that we're at 60 poles, actually, so we're getting real close to pity. Hmm. Almost there. What happened to Zenith? Exactly. <laughs> No, Zenith, I don't know. I love Zenith, don't get me wrong. But the irony with Zenith is that what got old with it was the same reason why I enjoyed it. Was it was just a grindy MMO game, which is awesome. Uh, and it was in VR, which made it even more awesome. But ironically, that's what ended up killing it, because, uh... A grindy MMO in VR, like, it, it meant basically... Think about it this way. It meant that any time I wanted to play, I had to set up VR, and I had to stand for hours on end. To do, like, super grindy stuff. Like, I, I feel like the weakest point with Zenith was its end game. Because the end game in Zenith is, uh... Is where it really started to suffer. I don't know. That's just me. Because it, it started getting like too grindy. And it was just like I couldn't be bothered. Like it just kept going on and on and on and on and on. And it was just like. Ugh. Hey Oga. 
What up? Also, thank you, Epic. I appreciate it. That's epic of you. You know what? I think there's something up by this pole. Because this guy, that gives us, like, that one quest line to explore this area. I know that he wants me to gather a bunch of things that are, like, at the top of the chasm. Well, this might be one of them. Oh, yeah. That's totally it. Maybe the spear or relic of some time. Wait, what is this? That's a weird looking helmet. What reference is this to? Is it this has gotta be a reference? Something. I'll clip that either way. I wanna say it's a Ghost of Tsushima reference, but I don't think that it is. They've already had plenty of those references. Stop! Trying to get this guy off of there. Stop! Just give up, man. Thank you. Oh my god, a little cute Samatril. He's trying so hard, dude. Oh my god, really? Okay. <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> Get off of there. Get down. Bad kitty. Collect these. I like Ayato Sass. I do. Get <laughs> there! Well, this is interesting. I've never been up here. Ooh. Big Chongo chest up in the middle there? Get in front flip, dude. Give me your shield. I will absorb it. Oh, what? His shield was strong enough to survive my Zhongli? Yee, are you serious? They must have these shields scaled higher then. Ah, oh, that's not a big boy chest. Come on. Should you have any use for them? Oh, you're on Xbox? Yeah, rip, dude. I mean, hopefully one day they'll bring it to Xbox. But, unfortunately... From what I've heard, China, uh, like, Xbox just ain't popular in China, so they don't really care. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look at this. Another spear. And armor thing. Weird. Entity is timed out. No, that's because I picked it up. I do want to see what's up here. Oh, you know what? I should also... Did this event start in our day yet? Oh, no, it didn't. Right, I already did all those. Yeah, so we have the new event going on right now, by the way, guys, which is... Uh, I did I did all off-camera because it's so boring. It's not bad. It just barely serves a purpose. You basically just go to a spot, take a bunch of photos, and that's it. But, I mean, hey, I'll take Freema gems. There was another piece of that ore. Did it actually give me some? I don't think it did. Weird. I still don't know where I'm supposed to get all this stupid idiot's ore. Most of it already seems to be mined. You know what? I don't think I went up here, actually. Uh, not really. Like, Genshin for me was actually my first uh, gacha game. A lot of the area games I play are usually like, you know, most of them are kind of free to play. And so they obviously are very, very monetized. But generally speaking, Genshin's the only, like, full-on gotcha. So 
certainly worth the extra money. Which uh, is actually why it tricked me so hard when I first started playing, because I like I never played a gacha game before. I will have order. So oh, those bombs ended up taking out his shields, dude. That's hilarious. I didn't even need to do it with Dajong. Yes. Very nice. Oh! There's some of the stupid ore. There we go. Aha! Alright, I finally found one. Jesus. I need like three of them. I know there's something over at the edge here. Because my buddy was saying, Oh, you just missed it. How much percent have I unlocked? I don't know. Uh, remind me when we get to the edge of the cliff here. We'll take a peek. Oh, speaking of which... Seems like we can actually look off this ledge. There might be goodies down there, but probably not. Oh, that's something for sure. That's okay. Oh! Wait, where is... Celestia? Apparently, in this update, they finally fixed the orientation of it. So normally, you might have noticed in certain areas, it was just kind of like a JPEG and it was flipped in the wrong direction. So now apparently they have it so that it's always flipped in the right direction, no matter where you are in the world. Which I don't know if that's significant to anything. But maybe it is. Oh, Seely. Come here, little buddy. Uh, the, yeah, the Archaic Stone is literally just for a world quest. It's nothing special. We just need three of them. They're just, they're kind of all over the map, but most of them are already mined up. So, One man stole. I don't know if they're all, like, really hard to get or anything. It just, I don't know. Look, there's a single feather here. Okay. And then apparently, where is this leading me? Aha! Look at that! These are the only ones that weren't already mined. Okay, cool. That was convenient. Please don't tell me he's going to be like, Can you get more of them? I'm eating them. So basically all of them were up on the tip. I think. I'm sure there was more than three, like, throughout the whole chasm, frankly speaking, but... Here you go, dum-dum. Oh, God, I have four of them. Okay, yeah, <laughs> All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Send us the commission. Uh-huh. Good lord, stop talking. Stop talking, dude. I think he's saying, I want more. Oh, no, he's done. Okay, thank god. Oh, you just mean gotcha games in general. Oh, there is tons of them here. Don't worry. It's just most of them are uh, on mobile. And, uh, I mean, gotcha games still make a lot of money. But, yeah, in uh, over in the east, that's where gotcha games flourish like crazy. Okay. Well, that was that idiot's quest line. Um... I guess let's see if I can get more of the crystals. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting I can upgrade my flashlight right now, can't I? What is that purple ring? Which purple ring? I'm sorry. I lost. <laughs> I didn't notice. Was there a purple ring? Probably a quest thing? I don't know. Refine my flashlight. There we go. Sweet! Bum, 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 bum. And now we just need a bunch more of these. Gross. A 
about the last upgrade? Ah, oh, that just gives us the name card. Oh, you mean this? I I see. That's that's just because of my branding. To go with my logo, because you know, purple, green, which are like my favorite colors. That's all. Okay. Anyway. Hello. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's up there in the upside down. Ah, great. You know what? This I didn't realize this fast travel point got us to the spot where we needed to be anyway. So that's good. Apparently I saw someone on Reddit. They uh they went into the upside down room that has the uh fountain of youth or whatever the heck it is, and they climbed out of the map. That was pretty funny. I knew there'd be like a crystal in here. I mean, it makes sense. There had to be some purpose to this area, right? Other than the quest. Uh, let's see. I guess over here? This one looks like it might actually be in the main temple room. Or this one is being an asshole and it's on the outside. Which could very well be. See, like, you can end up climbing up into that, apparently. I haven't tried it myself, but... To that poison from here at all? Oh, hello. Follow the wind. What the hell? Where have I been getting those? I don't even know what that item is. Let's call it orb. And then just move on. Weird. I must have just been getting those casually or something. I don't I don't know. That might be uh, how we get to the other area then. Yeah, I don't know, William. Either it's on the outside by the looks of things, or frankly speaking, this might allow us... It, it seems like it's going to open that door, and then it would allow us to get into the lower chambers, which would obviously be the higher chambers of this thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know where the hell have I been getting those orbs. <laughs> I really don't know. Is there are a bunch of doorways on either side. One of those weird poison spots. Oh, that's where Hillichurls were. So they eventually just turned into the gross corruption. Weird. Where the hell is this going? This place is so weird. Oh. Like, if I knew where those orbs even came from, then maybe I would be like, oh from fighting some serpents. Which serpents? What? Yeah, I'd have to look. Oh, can't find the rest of them. Yeah, it seems like it's a weird hidden thing, huh? Yeah, it definitely feels like a labyrinth, that's for darn sure. Can I interact with this now? No, I can't. Okay, let's cheese this, right? Oh, 
Oh, I see. So some, so you gotta do like glitchy stuff in order to actually climb out of there. Okay. That's why that area guy was Time to go. doing it. You go right in the middle there. Oh, right. There's this fast travel point that's upside down as well. I forgot. But you know what I'm noticing? So it's pointing to a fast travel point, but you'll notice it's actually on the top, right? Which tells me that that dark orb thing either is going to flip this castle or let us go to the top, which is a separate cell, which is going to end up being the same version of it, but upside down. So that fast travel point would actually work. I may be wrong. That's weird. The hell, dude. This place is so strange. <laughs> Where's this go? Just down? Oh. I mean, I mean, I kind of just look around and see if I can find more of these orbs. Do you, William, do you remember... You can open that teleporter? Wait, what? No! I already tried jumping into it. <laughs> no! It didn't work when I did it the first time, so I just was like, okay. Oh my god. That is so stupid. Are you serious? So you just gotta be standing in like the perfect spot for it to work. How do you do it? Oh, you get the pearls from the hus? Yeah, what are you guys talking about? See, it doesn't work. Climb the wall. I am climbing the wall. What do you mean? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So that's that's coded poorly. That's stupid. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, because I needed that fast draw point. That's so dumb. Jesus. Okay, so it's from the Hus. Okay, that makes sense then, because I've been killing the Hus. And, uh... I keep finding them in very, very weird places. And they're all like uniquely named and everything like that, so that that makes sense. Ooh, big boy chest! Gimme! Gimme, 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 gimme! Nom 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 nom. Is another man's gem. Delicious. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? If it's from husks, guess what, guys? Uh. That means we can use the Genshin interactive map. <laughs> um, Chasm. No, I don't need to see puzzles. I just want to see the enemies. Thank you very much. Shadowy Husk. All right. There's not as many of them as you would think. So let me mark these down and then we'll kind of go and visit each of these spots. I'm pretty sure I killed that one. Don't know if I killed this one. Uh, the one over here, I know I killed for sure. This one, I'm pretty sure I killed, but we'll double check. Uh, these ones, yeah, killed those for sure. Oh, but there was a narrow one apparently right here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I killed that too. We're at six though, out of, what was it, nine? You know what? I think I know. So this spot, I'm pretty damn sure I didn't kill Hus there, and I'm pretty sure I didn't kill Hus here. So let me just... Oh, and then there might be Hus down here that I didn't kill, but I'm pretty sure I did. We'll double check, though. I know it's a little bit cheaty, but that's okay. This spot for sure.
Because I know I didn't jump down here. Yeah, there's even a crystal down here, dude. Because I saw, I saw the big worm and I was just like, Ugh! I gotta kill it. Oh God. Haltaf. Hey man. Goodbye Haltaf. Give me the orb. Did he give me the orb? He didn't give me no- Oh, he did give me the orb. Okay. Interesting. I will change this to a fishing icon. Don't think I killed this one up here. I might have, but I'm gonna double check. Uh... Oh, is this where I think it is? Oh, this is this needed the miner's key. I think I already killed this guy. I just didn't notice that he dropped it. So you get the miner's key. Um, yeah, I could make like a video tutorial about this, frankly speaking. Cleric. No, I need to see if I got the orb, damn it. Okay, no, I didn't because I already got it from him. Um... When you go behind the worm up to here, you, that's where you end up getting the the mining key that gets you into this spot. More ore, more ore. Also, hello, secret cave. Maybe this is where you use the actual miner's key. I don't recall. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy, but he's here, so. Anything to give me an excuse to pull Ayato out, frankly. Where am I? Oh, this room. Okay. Well, anyway. That, um... Where was this one I might not have gotten? Oh! Seely, huh? I think they're inside these runes right here, actually. Oh yeah, there's like a crack in the wall over there. That's what the Seely's trying to show me. Aha! Dude, there's so many, like, little secrets in this area. It's crazy. Oh my god. Okay. What is going on here? Alright, big boy damage. There we go. Big boy chest, too. Alright, that definitely gave me an orb. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, putting all those out didn't seem to do anything, but hey, whatever. There we go. This one, maybe not? We'll see. Gotta be on the lower level, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Might be a spot I could have missed. I think they're just down at the bottom, though. You know what? It would make sense for them to be on this level. They may not be, but I don't know if I've been to this level before, because I think I always just went straight down. Right? Maybe? Where is this getting me? 
Oh, and then that's that other hole. That's very weird. God, this place is a freaking maze, dude. Okay, well, I'll leave this because there's treasure. I'm assuming I got this one done. Where's my fast travel point in this area? Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Cool. Weird. I guess maybe they're out all the way at the bottom. Now I'm curious, now that I know that that stupid thing is there, I didn't know that the orb thingy was even existent. And then I guess these guys were just down here, just chilling. They must have just been here, and then I just killed them and didn't realize it. Maybe when I was doing the mushroom guys quest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, cool. Um, then they're still over here, which those ones I am pretty sus of. Because I don't know if I ever went into that corner. Yep, there they are. Okay. There's also something else over here. Oh, I got that. Uh-oh. I wonder if I killed these guys or not. I might not. I might have already got their orb. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Please help, I'm dying. Not as badly as this guy is, though. Am I right? Give me the orb. Did you give me the orb? He didn't give me the orb. God damn it. That means I already did this one. Shoot. We're getting to the bottom of the barrel here, boys. <laughs> damn. Aha! Wakey, wakey. Time for battle. There is no escape. Eh, let's just do that. See, that's the thing about Ayato. I love him, but he doesn't do as much damage as my other characters. Okay, where's another one? Possibly it was around here. And then apparently right here as well. This one I already got for sure. Let's see. Oh. I think these guys would have been in here. Or they're like... They're not where the mage is. Maybe up here? That's the only problem with some of these areas, is they're like so... This chasm is like so compact and tight, you don't know where each and every enemy is. Surely they wouldn't have been up there. I'm going to confidently say I must have killed them. Unless they're on like the super lower levels, which... Oh, you know what? They might have been down there. No, I don't know. All right, let's double check over here. I'll leave, I'll leave some of these spots unmarked that I'm unsure of. Or uh, not change their marker, I should say. These ones I think are down there actually, not up top. They would have either been up here or down here which I probably already killed them as well. Unless they're like down here. Nah, let's just say I killed them. So this one, maybe. Maybe that would be the last one. Uh, we should be missing one more orb, Sahil. Because, uh, yeah, I needed nine. 
I was at six, and we've gotten two orbs uh, thus far. So I'm just kind of going back and re-killing some of these guys. And uh, a couple of them that I killed didn't... Whoops. What those items? A couple of them I killed didn't actually give me an orb, which means... Uh, Which means that there is somewhere else I'm missing one. So I'm kind of just checking the least likely spots. Oh yeah, this is this will be it because I didn't go down here. Yup, 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 yup. Last orb. Let's go. I didn't know these guys actually, like, had a purpose, so that's pretty cool. That explains why they're named. Wait. Where's my last orb? There we go. Seems like there might be some other goodies down here, too. Oh, look! There's one of the dim dumb dinosaur pictures. I don't know why it won't let me take a picture of it. Maybe I already did and I didn't notice. I must have... Yeah, look at this. I must have skipped right past that guy. What the hell? Weird. Okay, well, anyways. Um... Is this the fast travel point that's in the tower? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sweet. Now we can find whatever mystery is inside here. It's probably garbage, but you never know. Might end up being really cool. Where is it? I think it was here. Oh, here. Stop. All right. Let's see if it does something neat. It should pop us up on the top, I think. Right? Bum, bum. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Big boy treasure room. Okay. That's why people are trying to decipher the language. Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> oh no. Really? No space left in artifact and inventory. Also, you'll notice we can't go any higher up, so I can't get to that last gem. It isn't in here. This is just a goodie room. Ooh. So I assume that this note here is probably tied to... Let's see, some artifact I can waste these on. It's probably tied to... Um, there's like the the Conria language that you can find out in the world. Like it's all kind of glowy and stuff and you can interact with it, right? So there is a possibility that that is... Uh, oh, this guy could level up. No, that's Vermillion, never mind. Maybe it's uh, related to all that purple text. Maybe once you get all of it, it would end up uh, giving you like the quest line or something and then you would come back here. I don't know. Do I waste levels on this? Like, I don't freaking know. I don't have anything to waste my artifacts or on. I don't have any fodder. YouTube is not receiving enough video encoding. Really? Because it shows it's fine on my end, YouTube. Damn it! <laughs> I don't... Uh, man. I mean, I just gotta spend some of them, right? Whatever, man. At least it's using one stars, so it'll spend a bunch of them.
No, I'm trying to stop that. All right, where is that stupid feather? So I can, yeah, okay, it's not locked. Good. Well, that's uh, kind of lame, honestly speaking. Kind of was hoping for something a little bit more of a payoff, but I mean, I guess Freema gems are Freema gems, right? Damn it. So where the hell is this gem? Where's this crystal? Oh god, it's in that building, isn't it? I think it's in that one right in front of me. Oh, wait a minute. We can climb up here. Can you parkour better, please? Thank you. Ah! God. Are you serious? I think I know what they're trying to do. I think it's going to be in here. Oh, God. And it's one of these spots that's got terrible parkour. Oh, God. Dear devs, fix this. Jesus. Is it up there? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well. Here I thought I was smart. I don't know where this one is. More importantly, why is it pointing to this spot? It's very, very annoying. <laughs> hmm. It's a trick, William. It's up here. Over in that corner. It's not down there in the upside down at all. Because this spot overlaps. Yep, there's even a chest over in that corner. Okay, well, that explains a lot. Or it's like down in the big pit hole. But either way. <clears throat> oh no, there it is. Right there. Yeah, okay. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, at least it didn't end up wasting hours of my time, but hey, whatever. We got to end up seeing the purple orb area just because it was cool, but... Can you... Oh my god. Parkour in here kind of sucks, just saying, dude. There we go. Alright, where's the next one then? Way the hell up there, huh? Probably right there, actually. <laughs> no, I know how it is, man. Yeah. Overthinking it. I mean, I was overthinking it too, but yeah. And then I noticed that the stone hill or stone hall or whatever. You can, uh. It kind of overlaps a little bit. And I realized that, oh, wait a minute. I didn't end up actually gathering anything in here. Oh my god, my artifact inventory is going to be full again. I just find it kind of dumb that it just seems to point to random ones. Oh. I guess I found all of the books. God, my frames are draining in this area. Weird. Okay, let's see here. Please don't be on the freaking ceiling. Oh no, it says it's lower. Oh, there's one. Is that the one? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> that means I saw this. I just didn't, like, go for it. Whoa!
And this one, I bet you... Oh? I guess it's up here? That was easy. I was gonna say, maybe it's in that dendro area. Oh, it's in this stupid thing. Right, I don't know how to get in there. Yeah. There's like, it's gotta be tied to this, right? No? Ow! Did that do it? I need to find two map. Two map? Like there's another entrance into here, or I gotta find like two things. Oh, wait a minute. That'll probably explain the hint, right? Um. No, never mind. One in the chasm, one in the underground. No, I think you're thinking of a different uh, thing. I'm not. Maybe you mean this one, but. Maybe I would have accessed it from over here? I can't really tell, but. Yeah, sure, I'll go there in a sec, dude. Oh, hello. Order guide you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go there in a sec, William. Oh my god, they're really making me work for this one, huh? What was that weird, like... Oh. Safety notice. I saw it said something. And there was this. Didn't do anything. Okay. Um. Alright. What am I looking for here? Guess I'll just go here. It's going to be pretty tricky for you to explain this to me. Unless it's in a very obvious spot. Something you clean. That thing? Or this one? One or two? I'm assuming this one. Because I don't think I climbed up there. But I'll... I can check out this other one, too. Yeah! Can you jump, dude? Number two? Okay. Yeah, I figured it would be the one up top, because I didn't really go along the uh, edge. What the? The Chasm Mining Archive. Okay, cool. Oh, the north one. Like, actually. Okay. That's what you meant. Alrighty. I'll check it out in a sec. Oh, God. Uh! Solidify. No chest, really? For that? Kind of feel like it should, but oh well. I saw another chest over here. Wonder if I ended up already grabbing this map and not realizing it. Probably not. There's like so many little things that I've missed. Hello? Oh. Huh? Where? Oh. The wrong test subject. Very nice. Okay. That's that one done. And then to the north, that weird spot. Ugh. It's so teeny-weeny. 
So down there, I guess? Is that where it is? Oh. Here's just a resonance stone I want to get while I'm here. Quake. Not down there? Certainly worth the extra mile. Because I just did the bottom one. Oh, like it's not there, but I still just got to find the two maps. Yeah, that's okay, dude. I can look it up. <laughs> that's okay, man. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already went down here. And it's just, uh... Well, unless this is the map. Nah, I didn't think so. One's in the main tunnel. Yeah, that's okay. I can find those. In my off time, I guess. Hey, Voodoo! The main tunnel in the upper area? What? Yeah, that that's okay, guys. That's okay. Because trying to explain it through text is just going to be too confusing and weird. So, it's okay. Oh, in the Lumberpick Valley. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because I have barely explored up here at all. There it is. That one, right? Wait, no. I've already went there and I already fought the things that are up there. Either way, yeah, we can go over there and check it out because I never went up here in general. Hey, Robbie. What up? Maybe that isn't the spot that I've been. I'll double check, though. Ah! See? So I mixed it up. Uh, this is the one where you fight the treasure hoarder leader, but then you can still go over here and get this other one. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Certainly worth the extra mile. Well, that was the cup that I needed. That's a different quest. Oh, there's a treasure map. Are you serious? How did I miss this? It's a good thing you guys told me, because otherwise no quests were going to point me there. Let's go over to the runes, just for kicks. That's so dumb. I must have just overlooked it, because I like ran here, did the quest, and just left. I don't know how I ended up missing the map. Or not even the map, but just that chest. What about, uh, what about in the chasm, guys? Where's that one at? Oh, God. Like in the underground. Eh. Hello, stupid. Wakey, wakey. No, no, I just got that map just now in the upper area. Mm, yes. So you guys kept saying there's another one underground? I thought I picked up all four of them, but I guess not. What? Weird. Brum, brum. Free money, free money. Worth the extra mile. Thank God we can just button mash to pick items up now. Like legit. So nice. Does the interactive map actually show where the uh the other treasure map is. Upper right of the ad hoc main tunnel. Uh, like up here? Cause yeah, I don't think I've been up there.
Yes, if I'm hoping to stream after this. I didn't expect it to be streaming Genshin this long, but... I mean, when we've got exploring to do, it's always fun, right? Uh, but I want to stream some other stuff today if I can, yeah. I see you under there. Oh, the barrel didn't bl blow it up, huh? Oh, hey! <laughs> that was good. Why is this so hidden? Okay. Oh, it was 10k. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, I haven't been up here, so totally makes sense that there'd be stuff here that I'm missing. I will have order. Thanks for the help, guys. It's funny how it was in the areas that I knew, like, I haven't explored here. Can you just open the chest, dude? I got careless. Combat camera angle, dude. Stop. Oh, so you think I got enough Freema gems to trigger pity yet? I don't. Oh, there we go. Treasure map fragment. Wait. So now I can just open that door? That's kind of weird. Aha! I knew there was something up here. Oh, I didn't. It was on my compass. I didn't even notice it. Eh. Follow the wind. Oh, like now I can use the map to... Yeah, okay. Okay. Was it like tied to some dude's quest or something? Sorry, I'm just getting a little distracted because there's goodies all over here that I didn't get. Seems like that might be it, though. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm guessing I gotta actually like look at the map, right? And then it like shows me some spot that I go to. That ain't it. Uh Godwin's letter? No. I don't even know what this is. Before the sun and moon. Okay. Oh there it is. Oh, there you go. So that's the, uh, that's the spot that you were telling me to go to before William. So now I got to go there and then use fire, I guess. Weird. Guess I'll just go here and try to climb up. It's gonna be a bit annoying though. Or not. Roaring? Gotcha! Ah, he almost didn't do it. He doesn't like doing things sometimes. Eh. Alright, where are you, you stupid thing? Come here, you. Alright, what do they want me to set fire to? Oh, just the explosives? I'm burning their beds! Whoa! That's pretty cool! <laughs> Oh, damn! That's really cool! What? 
That's so neat. Wow. That was actually really neat. I wasn't expecting that. Certainly worth the extra money. That was really cool, man. I was really not expecting it to have... I don't even see the tunnel anymore, but okay. Well, anyways. Let's see, where's my next one? Ah, yes, of course it's in the Dendro area. Yeah, thanks for that, guys. That was neat. I really like the chasm area, dude. Like, it's so well designed, and it's just got, like, such cool little things like that. The only other spot that was kind of like that was, uh... There's a spot in, uh, in Azuma, actually. The hell is down here? Oh, those idiots. There's a spot in Inazuma, um... Where you can go behind a house, and then you can take a trap door that actually leads, uh, it's outside of like the starting town. So I think it would have been like a secret way you could have exited the village without doing the quest line. But it was pretty hidden. Oh, this ain't the Dendro area at all. Also, you get over here. Oh, more of the Dummy, dumb, dumb language. Ah! I wasn't really expecting those idiots to show up. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know whether or not, like, am I collecting those languages secretly or, you know? Ooh. Hello, stupids. Want a taste of my hair? One with nature. Yeah. One with wind and hey, Mitchell. Mitchell? Mish, Mish. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Help me. The wrong test subject. Okay, cool. All right, where's the next one? Where's the next one? What? It's not pointing me to anymore. Surely I don't have all of them. No. Well, at least there's none over here. No, I don't have them all. Hello? Oh! That's all of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. All right. Sweet. Well, we got that maxed out. Nice. I wasn't really expecting that to be over and done with so quickly. All right, well, new name card, I guess. Ooh, it's nice and blue. Ooh, fancy. Give me all those sweet, sweet Fremos. Oh my God, I'm almost done with this area. 25 different chests. Ugh, that's what I'm still missing though. That's the only thing I'm missing is chess. That is a lot of chess. Jesus. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's find out if I'm at 100% actually. No, 97. Okay. I think I've gotten most of the chess down here. D wait. Does the surface... Does this count? Yeah, this does count towards... So this says 70... Wait. Is the surface chasm completely separate exploration from underground? Or are they tied together? No, they're different. That's so weird. Okay, so you actually have two areas that you gotta get 100%. Huh. Interesting. Well, we got most of the underground, but I'm still missing a bunch of chests. Which, uh, yeah. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. Well. Free wish. Let's go. Blam. Oh my god. Here we go. Come on, dude. Give me. Just do it already. Just give me it. 
I'm already so close, goddammit. Alright, well, this was an area that I wanted to kind of check out. Because it was a halfway zone. 96% and at 60 chests. Ooh! Actually, you know what? There might be more world quests down here that I'm missing. Yeah, I know. I know that you can use the uh, leeway compass down here. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm just lazy. Dang, dude. I was not expecting to just casually get that much percentage, though. Like, uh, that was... This area is very short-lived. Kind of a shame. Oh. Is this a barrel shoot challenge? Seems like there's quite a few things down here, actually. Oh, yeah. Stabilize. Where is that one? Oh, God. These might uh, count for quite a bit of percentages, though. Like doing the puzzles. Gather. Don't worry, guys. I don't need arrows. Oh god, common chest, gross. Certainly worth the extra. That means, uh, I guess getting the orbs, that's what it was mostly for, right? It was for percentage. Another thing, too, that I know I'm missing a lot of chests is the room that had the nail in it. Because I didn't really explore that room too much. Uh, hello? Stop! Why are there so many enemies here, dude? And it's these cute little mushroom guys that think they're actually, like, hurting me, but they're not. They're just blowing kisses. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's the thing, dude, is, uh, frankly speaking, we're so close to getting, like, max percentage. I don't know if there's any other reason, like, to stream it, you know? Like, I, I, I kind of feel like I should just do it off camera, just because we're so close anyways. I'm not saying... No, I'm done or anything. I'm just saying, like, I could be over and done with this area just so quickly. It doesn't really matter. Is this working? Oh, I must have already got this. Weird. Well, anyways. That's cool, but yeah, I guess Chasm's already over and done with, dude. That kind of sucks. What a shame. <laughs> it was such a cool area, but there just I guess there just wasn't that much to it, huh? Jeez. I mean, there was a lot of cool, like, random lore stuff, and I'm not saying that there's not going to be, like, events in here, but yeah. Anyways, I guess that'll do it, gamers. Streamed a little bit longer than I was expecting to, but anyways. Hope you had fun. I'm gonna take a bit of a quick break and then start streaming something else. So you guys are welcome to come